I'm Dr. Fadi Kamal, a surgeon at Woodstock Hospital, and I want to give you a few helpful tips to make your surgery day go smoothly. If you're having surgery at Woodstock Hospital, you've had your pre-admit clinic visit and all your questions answered and followed your preoperative instructions, but you're probably a little nervous and we want to help you put your mind at ease. Here are the six most important things to remember on the day of your surgery. Number one, arrive on time. Before you leave your house, make sure you know the location of the hospital and the time you need to arrive at registration. You will have received the time by phoning the operating room the day before between 1 and 3 p.m. Remember, you will need someone to drive you home on discharge. It's important to arrive on time because your scheduled time was arranged to allow staff to prepare you for surgery. If you need any help with directions, you may ask any staff member to volunteer to assist you. Remember, surgery and waiting times are not exact. Each patient receives the time necessary to receive the proper care and safe surgery. If your surgery is delayed, your nurse or surgeon will inform you. Number two, remember your identification. When you arrive in registration, you will need to present your health card, confirm your information, and then you will be given an ID bracelet. You will then be given directions to the surgical waiting area on the second floor. Just have a seat and a nurse will greet you once you have arrived. You will be given an ID tracking number to share with your family so they can follow your progress on the electronic tracking board. Number three, leave valuables at home. Once you are admitted into daycare, you will have your medical information reviewed, including medications and allergies. You will change into a hospital gown and you will need to remove your glasses, contact lenses, jewelry, and dentures. It's important to leave any valuables at home or to give them to your family who are waiting for you. It's also important to remove any colored nail polish before coming to the hospital because your nail beds are observed for oxygen level. Your safety is our highest priority. A nurse will review your surgeon's preoperative orders, which may include starting an intravenous. Once you are prepared, you will be asked to wait in the daycare lounge chairs. Number four, participate in our surgical safety checklist. The staff will perform safety checks several times on your day of surgery. They will ask you to confirm your name, date of birth, as well as the surgery you're having. You will probably get tired of answering those questions over and over again, but it's a very important part of our surgical safety checklist. Number five, keep your family at ease. There is a private consultation room for your surgeon to speak with your family after your surgery. Be sure to let your nurse know that you have family waiting for you or the number they may be reached at if they are now waiting in the hospital. Remember, you will need $4 to leave the parking lot when you are discharged. Number six, review your surgery information. Review your surgery information book the day before your surgery and write down all questions you may have for healthcare providers. No questions are silly, so please ask. Don't eat or drink after midnight the day before your surgery unless your surgeon has given you specific instructions otherwise. And remember to call the hospital the day before your surgery between 1 and 3 p.m. We're closed on weekends, so call Friday if your surgery is on Monday. Let's review the top six things to remember. Number one, arrive on time. Number two, remember your identification. Number three, leave valuables at home. Number four, participate in our surgical safety checklist. Number five, keep your family at ease. And number six, review your surgery information. Woodstock Hospital has state-of-the-art operating rooms and your comfort and safety is our priority. We will include you in our surgical safety checklist in the operating room and ensure you are warm and comfortable. Your anesthetist will also speak with you before surgery to discuss your sedation. Once your surgery is completed, you will be cared for in the post-anesthetic care unit, which is our recovery room, and your nurse will keep you comfortable. You will be asked to rate your pain level on a scale between 1 to 10 and given pain medications accordingly. You may be asked to take big breaths and cough to assist your lung expansion after anesthesia. Your family will be updated on your progress and after approximately one hour, you will move back to daycare to prepare for discharge home 
or to your inpatient hospital room if staying. Your family will be notified to accompany you to your room. If discharged, your family is called into daycare to hear your discharge instructions with you. Our goal is to provide you with the best possible surgical care and we thank you for choosing Woodstock Hospital. Your feedback is very important so you may receive a survey in the mail which will allow us to continue to meet our patients' needs. We hope this video has been helpful.